Hello, hello. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but I lost the connection over here. So I'm sorry about that. All right. So I apologize for that. Okay. I lost the connection for a second, and just out of a sudden, it just closed. You know, the system just closed over there. So I, I, you know, I don't really know why. But as I was saying me here, you know, sometimes when you lose your patience, etc., you can say, uh, I flew off the handle, all right? So I flew off the handle. So you may say that, okay? So, so that being said, let's continue with the class that I have for you uh, this, this evening, all right? So uh, let me just one second over here. Okay. Okay, just one moment over here. So, do you remember yesterday that you were working on this? Were you able to finish this, by the way? Were, were you able to finish this exercise, like to put these these uh, steps in order, or not? All right, so I'm asking you, please, could could somebody just tell me a uh, yes, or or actually I uh, didn't finish, or something like that, if you don't mind, please. Yes, teacher, I did finish the. You finished, you finished over there. All right, can you can Nati, could you please help us? Like, let's say, all right, so uh, here we here we see how an omelette is made, using the words above in the pictures. Can you choose the correct sequence, Albert? So, uh, Nati, right now, just pretend that you're just telling us how to make an omelet like, and just start like with number one, like uh, slice the mushrooms. You will go first, uh, slice the mushrooms. After that, and you continue, please. Thank you. Okay, first, uh, slice the mushrooms. And uh, next, we beat the eggs into a bowl. Uh, then. Uh, add the salt and pepper to the egg mixture and uh, next um, pour the eggs into a frying pan add the mushroom and cook okay. and for last fold the omelette in half and enjoy for omelette is ready your omelette is ready all right thank you thank you for that so what would be the first one over here, if you can help us? All right, just so we can be on, on, on the same page. Hold on, hold on, let me just erase this, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to erase this. All right, so I don't think it's possible on my screen, but let's see what I can do right now. Sorry about that. So the first one would be, uh, Nati, you said? Slice the mushrooms. All right, so the uh, this one is right. Slice the mushroom will be the first one. Okay. All right. What's number two, by the way? Number two will be beat the eggs into a bowl. All right. So beat the eggs into a bowl. All right. What's number three? Add salt and pepper to egg mixture. All right. So add salt and pepper uh, to egg mixture. All right. Number four. Or put the eggs into a frying pan, add the mushroom, and cook. Yes, correct. Yes, put, put, put the eggs into a frying pan, add the mushrooms, and cook. And the last one, I'm sorry, this is number four. Sorry about that. That's number four. And the last one, of course, is number five, right? It says, yes. what is it? Mm -hmm. Pull the omelette in half and enjoy. Your omelette is ready. Your omelette is ready over there. Okay. Yeah, so what you just did right now, it's actually perfect. And then you told me, first of all, uh, slice the mushrooms, then beat the eggs. After that, add salt and pepper to the egg mixture, and et cetera, et cetera, right? So remember, adverse of, of sequence or sequence adverse, okay? Now, take a look at this, at this conversation, all right? It's a, it's a short quiz, which you're going to be taking right now individually, okay? It says, uh, what, do you, what do you do first, okay? Do you cook rice, heat a pan, chill vegetable, what do you do second, okay, etc. Now, what you're gonna listen to individually, it's a recipe, okay, it's a recipe for cooking rice, 
okay? Here in El Salvador, it might be a little bit different, right? For, first of all, you chop the, the onion, the, uh, uh, I would say, uh, in, in all of these vegetables, okay? And then, and then you just uh, uh, heat the, the, the oil, and after that, you uh, put all of these vegetables, and, and finally, and you add the, the rice and everything over there until it's brown. Okay. And the last step will be just to put some water and just to let it fry in there uh, until it's ready. Okay, something like that. So that would be the recipe for making rice here in El Sabor. But what you're gonna listen to, it's a, a different recipe to make rice, okay? And that's gonna be a listening that uh, I'm gonna send to you right now, okay? So let me just one second come over here. So just one more. Okay, so just one second come over here. Okay. So please take the quiz. And then once you're done, uh, if you want, share the responses with, with me, all right? So uh, let me just one second. All right. Let's see, I think I found it. And okay. Remember that these listenings have both the quiz and also they have the uh the script, but right now please just look at the uh look at the quiz. Don't don't read the uh the, the actual conversation, please. I sent it to Zoom right now. Okay, there you have it. So try to click on, on the uh, on the access information over there, please. All right, and let me know if it's working and if you're able to see the same image that I was sharing with you, please. So let me know if everything is working in there. So in total, you have five questions about, uh, you know, making rice, which includes like heating the, the pan, which is like acerola, throw a garlic, chopped vegetable, which is uh, partirlos, and, and then the other one, it's, uh, you know this already, okay? So uh, mute your microphones and try to listen to this, please. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit quicker, okay? So just one second more here.
All right, I'm sorry. Once you you're you're done listening to the quiz, if you want, just go ahead and share share the uh, you know your score with me. And after that, you're gonna be practicing this conversation right now in front of everybody. I, I'm going to be asking for two volunteers, and then I'm gonna be uh, taking you to uh, the breaker rooms. Okay, so you can practice something else over there. All right. So, but right now, um, let me play the listening in front of everybody. So you can uh, actually see how it's pronounced. And I can give you some suggestions as well over there. All right. So just one sec. There you go. Okay. So right now, please uh, just listen to the, uh, to the script over here and try to put this in order. I'm going to be asking somebody uh, to help me uh, check the answers over here. If you think the first thing is chop the vegetables, so you're, you're going to tell me it's chop the vegetables, all right? If the second thing is uh, throw, throw a garlic game, you're going to tell me this. But right now, let me play the listening, okay? So uh, you can get the, the pronunciation over there, okay? Here we go. I have it right here, all right? All right, so let me know if you're able to listen to this, please. Just fine. Okay. All right, so one, two, three, here we go. So, Jill, how do you make that fried rice again? You've forgotten already? Okay, first you need to cook the rice. Then, while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetables. After that, heat some oil in the pan and throw in the chopped garlic. Then you can add the vegetables and finally the rice. And don't forget, keep stirring as you add everything. Is that it? Yeah, it's really easy. Wow, great. Thanks a lot. I'm going to give it a go right now. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, I think that was very fast. Don't you think so? All right, that, that's actually very fast. All right, so let me, let me ask somebody here. Let's say, Vanessa, uh, what would be the answer over here? So what do you do first? Cook rice, heat a pan, chop, or chop the vegetables, Vanessa. If you can help me with this. If you don't uh, cook a rice. Okay. Letter uh, A. Letter A, do you mean? So is that what you do first? Is that what the lady explained uh, explained to 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 him? Like to cook the rice? All right. So I'm gonna say yes. What about number two, Vanessa? What do you do second? Um... I mean, it, it's okay if you don't remember. Uh, Okay, the, um, throw the garlic in or let her see chop the vegetables the vegetables all right now let's do something over here let me play the listening again and then you're okay. gonna tell me over here you know the best thing you can do when you take these types of quizzes is to have the questions in there and just to uh, have the listening and just to select O sea, seleccione mientras escuche, you know. So okay. choose, the, choose the answers while you are listening. So here we okay. go. So, Jill, how do you make that fried rice again? You've forgotten already? Okay, first you need to cook the rice. Mm -hmm. Then, while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetables. After that, heat some oil in the pan and throw in the chopped garlic. Then you can add the vegetables and finally the rice. And don't forget, keep stirring as you add everything. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah, it's really easy. Wow, great. Thanks a lot. I'm going to give it a go right now. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. She mentions like two things on number three, but I would say the first one, like you, yeah, like you told me, Vanessa is cook the rice, then it's throw garlic, etc. Um, I'm sorry, it's, and then you continue over there. Then, then she mentioned something about chop, chop the vegetables and everything. You said throw garlics, but it's actually this one, chop vegetables, all right? 
and then is uh, throw the garlic, right? Add the vegetables and then add the rice. Add the rice. Okay, yes. All right, so that will be it. So I think that's the best thing that you can do. And if you do, don't get this right the first time, you just play it the second time until you get everything correct. That's the best way you can do, okay? Because if you wanna trust your memory, it's gonna be difficult for you to remember everything because we're not computers, you know, we're not machines <laughs> to remember everything in there. Nice. Uh, so right now I'm going to ask you to go and practice this in purse in a breaker room, please. Right now you're six participants, so you're gonna be practicing in purse. So Raquel, you're gonna practice with Tania, Nati with Zulma, and Jose with Vanessa, please, if you don't mind. So try to practice this and practice two times because Mike just asks the question and then Jill is the one that explains, okay? So thank you, please jo join the, the rooms over there. Hi, Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, do you want to be Mike or Jill? Okay. Uh, Jill, but I wait because I. Okay. I am a Jill. Are you ready? I am. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, Jill, uh, how do you make that fried rice again? <clears throat> All right, so hello, Tanya and Raquel. Are you practicing already? Yes. Uh, me, Mike. Okay. So, okay. Jill, uh, how do you make that fried rice again? You're forgetting already? Okay, first, you need to cook the rice. Then, while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetables. And finally, the rice. And don't forget, keep stirring as you add every, everything. Is that it? Yeah, it's really easy. Wow, great. That, thanks. I'm going to give it a going right now. Good luck. All right. Did you practice? Thanks. So, so hello. So how many, how many times have you practiced uh, Jose and Vanessa? The first, the first okay. time practice. Okay. All right. The time okay. change the, the, the person I yes. make in this moment, you. Okay. Jose, let's go. Jose, go ahead, please. <laughs> ah, I can piece it, piece it, yes. Yes, you're, yes. Yes. You ready? Okay. First, you need to cook the rice. Then, while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetables. After that, heat some oil in the pan and throw in the chopped garlic. Yeah, then. Yes, Tanya, yeah. then you can add the vegetables and finally the rice. What's the last part over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, her internet connection is failing. Could you finish, please, uh, Raquel, if you don't mind? Then you can add. Okay. Uh, uh, they, then you can add the vegetables and finally the rice. And don't forget, keep this. No, I, I don't know um, what the is the. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's stirring. 
staring, staring. Staring, staring. Okay, keep the staring as you add everything. Yeah, keep staring means you know, like mixing. Okay, mixing. Verdad? Yes. How do you say batir or, or mezclar when you're just doing that, right? With the foot, that's staring. Okay. Stirring, okay. Yeah, stirring. All right, is that it? Y yeah, it's really easy. Wow, great, thanks. I'm gonna give it a, a go right now. <laughs> Good luck, he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, she, does, she doesn't trust <laughs> the way she cooked over there. So let me just close. Yeah, she's back over there. Right, you have one minute because we gotta continue over here. All right, so welcome back everyone. We're gonna continue with this. Okay, as you can see, uh, there are some pronunciation uh, points that I need to, to point out. I would say, so chopped, garlic, chopped. Right, picado, picar. Chop means picar, you know, cortar así en rodajitas, chopped, right? And then you have vegetables, vegetables, all right? You can also say veggies, okay? This other one is staring. Staring is como menear, ¿verdad? Menear la, la, la comida, right? Staring or batir, all right? And that's it. So let's let's move forward over here. So uh, right now, let me just give you an overview of uh, module number three or lesson three, which is time for a change. And then you have the topic is houses and apartments, okay? What you're gonna do right now in your mind, so you don't have to write anything because that's not necessary. So right now you're gonna see these adjectives, okay? And these adjectives are used to describe houses. Okay, and apartments. But you gotta think which words are positive and which are negative. If you think uh, something is positive, you, you just can imagine to put a P in front of it or an N if it's a negative. For example, we have bright. And right now I'm gonna ask you to repeat after me, please. Okay, you can unmute your microphones, it's okay. Le pueden quitar el mudo a su, a su, a su micrófono. And you just can repeat the word after me. So it, it does no problem, all right? So it doesn't really matter. The first one, it's bright, 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 okay? Bright. bright. Uh, in this bright. context, okay, so in this context, in this bright. context, bright means with a lot of light, ¿verdad? Con bastante luz, o iluminado, right? Bright. But bright also means very intelligent. All right. For example, I can say, um, let's see, Jose, you are a very bright student, which means you are a smart. You are a very smart student. Or Nati, uh, Raquel, uh, Sulma, Tania, Vanessa, you are, so everybody, you are bright students, like smart students. All right. Bright. Okay. But in this case, I'm talking about a house. If there's a lot of sunlight into the house. The next one. A, you have to erase this O. You say like comfortable, comfortable, comf, comf. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. Yes. If you say comf comfortable, yeah, it's okay, but it's not, it's, I would say it's better to say like comfortable, 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 all right? Next one, convenient. Convenient. That's what you say. Convenient. Convenient. Okay. Convenient. Next one, cramped. 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 Right. Cramped. All right. And the best example for this is las paradas de buses. You know, the bus stops over there. You know, they are always cramped people. And we, when you are in a bus, like or in a or in a van, un microbus. The uh, the bus collector, okay, or, or, or el, el cobrador, or the driver tells you, verdad, tópese. It tells you that, right? 
it, but it's cramped. You you cannot move over there. You know that's cramped. You know that's what they tell you. You know, okay. Next one is dangerous. 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 All right. Dark. 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 That is, for example, Dark. person M will go. Excuse me. <laughs> Teacher, the uh -huh. dark, for example, person emo, or oh, no? Yeah, the you can say, you can say ah, that, okay. like, 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 for example, you have very dark feelings, dark feelings. Okay, dark feelings. Be yes, okay. because, because you don't true you, who you are, you, you, don't sh you don't show who you are, you're really true, okay? Dingy es something dirty, pero es algo bien sucio, ¿verdad? Dingy, ¿verdad? Algo que así como podrido, dingy. 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 All right. And then you have expensive, which you already know, expensive. And the next one, huge. 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 You say huge. Huge. Right. That's the opposite of my house, you know, huge. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so the next one, it's inconvenient, all right? Inconvenient. Inconvenient. All right, it's inconvenient. Oh. Next one, it's modern. 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 Modern, all right? Next modern. one, noisy. 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 All right? Noisy, noisy. all right? Noisy. ¿Cómo, era, ¿Cómo era meque? O, o like we say, alguien entrometido. What noisy. did I say? Noisy. Uh -huh. Noisy. Mm. Mm, similar. No, but you're saying noisy is ruidoso. You say no, nosy, nosy, no, nosy, 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 all right? Next one, you say private, 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 private. How do you say, how do you say colegio, like colegio García Flamenco, colegio, uh, Etc. Right? Externado. How do you say colegio? Private college. Uh, actually, college is universidad, pero una, una universidad como, como una más pequeña, verdad? Community college. Colegio dicen private school, right? Private school. That's how you say, right? Mm. You don't say college, please. No more. You say private school. Why? Porque es una escuela privada. Okay, it's a private school. All right. Okay. Next one, quiet, quiet, quiet. Okay, next, quiet. safe, safe, all right? All right, and after this is shabby, shabby. Shabby means un lugar bien descuidado con las paredes que se están cayendo y todo eso. That's a shabby place, order, okay? And next one is small, and the last one is spacious, spacious, okay? And that's why you have over here these two images. You see on the first one, which is this one, the one on the top, these two images on this, is, is, is cramped, and, and the other one, it's comfortable because there's a lot of space, as you can see in there, all right? So try to remember the pronunciation cramped, no digan por favor cramped. No, that's not correct. You say cramped. And then you say uh, huge. All right. Huge. Lo cual es inmenso. Just like it's spacious or espacioso. Okay. And then you say yes. private. 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 Okay. That being said. Right. Now look at this image, please. Look at this image, everyone. And I'm going to take this, uh, this thing away. All right. What's the name of this uh, place? What's the name of this place, by the way? The, the, bed, the bed sitting room. <laughs> yes. You see, the bed sitting room is not is not only the bedroom, but it's also the living room. So how how is that? <laughs> so how is that? How is that possible? So what do you see in this image? Do you think this family has enough space? You see the two babies in there, okay? 
No. The, yes. No. I would yes. also say, it is yes. Dingy. It's dangerous. It is dangerous. Dangerous. It, yeah. dangerous. Yeah. it is it is small. What else? What adjectives can you use over there? What adjectives can you use in here? Inconvenient. Inco okay. Yes. Inconvenient. You may say this. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And it's, it is shabby. It's shabby as well. You know, descuidado. Obviously, it's shabby. You see the walls in there. Uh, all the, the, the plates on the, on the table and everything over there. And, and you see this animal at the back, this parrot, you see over here, ya vieron el pájaro, this, this bird over here. <laughs> what is, what is, what is the bird saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is, this is, this is all right. In other words, it, uh, the bird is saying, this is okay for right. me. Why do you think it's all right? Why do you think it's all right? I mean, he's saying, if I can live in a cage with no space, you can also live in this condition. O sea, si el pájaro puede vivir en esa jaula, why not the people? <laughs> Man, I, I, don't, I don't like it that... Yeah, I know, no. I know. I mean, this is not humane, right? Esto no es humano. Okay, this is not yeah. humane over there. This is not humane. And, okay. and you see, what about now with COVID-19? ¿Qué pasa con el COVID-19? You see this guy is a little bit sick, as you can see in there. Okay. So he's a little bit sick. Take a look. All right. You see? <laughs> it, yes. And everybody is, is sleeping. I, I would say this is a little bit sad as well. Hasta triste es. You know, it's sad, you know, to, to, to live just like this. And unfortunately, some people here in El Salvador, I would say the living room is also their bed and everything in there, right? And they their keeps mm -hmm. them in there. It, it happens here in El Salvador, right? Because mm -hmm. people have their, their keeps them in the living room and also their bedrooms in there because there's not enough space. So that's the message in here. So that's the message, all right? And let me just see what time it is. Yes, we still have time, okay? Let me just one second. Let's continue, all right? So that's why the grammar that I have for you is making comparisons with as and as, all right? Estas dos palabras van a los dos extremos. Van a los extremos y en medio puede ir un adjetivo o un adverbio. Or just a noun, all right? This, these are going to be, I would say, like the bridges. I would say like the connectors, all right? The two extremes in there, okay? And uh, <coughs> the same or the difference. So it's as, as comparisons, as you can see over here. Now, just listen to this question, please. It says, have you ever had the dilemma of choosing between two things that you like the same. Do you tend to compare places or products? You can use the comparative of equality to express these ideas. When you go to the store, you, you can now decide which pair of shoes to buy, all right? Or which uh, pair of jeans to buy, etc. right? Then you use this. We compare friends, we compare, uh, as you know, people, jobs, cards, shoes, etc. okay? That's what we do sometimes so that's why we have in here comparisons of equality esta estructura así se llama comparisons of equality esto es tan bueno como lo otro o tan malo como lo otro etc right so that's what we do and for this we have this conversation all right the last thing we're gonna be working on tonight would be this conversation which is apartment hunting right when you're like desperate looking for apartments okay and it says what do you think and this is a conversation between mr dean mrs dean and their daughter jenny all right so right now i'm gonna be choosing let's say three uh, persons in here let's see sulma 
you're gonna be uh, Mrs. Dean, okay? And uh, let's see who else in here. Okay. Yes, and then Jose, Mr. Sierra, you're gonna be Mr. Dean, and let's see, Tanya, help us, please. You're gonna be the daughter, Jenny, please. So, Jose, can you hear me? All right, so can you hear me, Jose? All right, so I don't think he's able to, to hear us over here. All right. Okay, so uh, Nati, help us, please. You're gonna be Mr. Dean, please. All right, so you're gonna be, so Nati, you're gonna be Mr. Mr. Dean, all right. Zuma, you're gonna be uh, Mrs. Dean. And then uh, I said Tanya, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Tanya, you're going to be yeah. uh, Jenny over there. Okay, so go ahead, please. What do you think? Well, it has just a many bedroom as the last apartment, and the living room is, is huge. Mm -hmm. But the bedrooms are too small, and there isn't enough. Closest space for my club. And it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw. Mm -hmm. But that apartment was dark and dingy. And, and it was in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see if the real estate agent had something else to show us. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help over here. Real estate agent means la gente de buenas raíces. Por eso es que aquí tiene una E al principio. Esto es, esto es buenas raíces. So, bienes raíces, perdón. Bienes raíces. Okay. The people who sell houses, sell houses and apartments. So, real estate. Porque sin la S es Estado. ¿Verdad? Like the United States. Okay. So, as you can see, let me just underline the grammar for you. Okay. But uh, let me just one second. Let me just check what time it is right now because this is the last thing we're going to be doing because I have another class. Okay, sorry about that. So uh, the grammar would be as many bedrooms as. Okay, the next one would be uh, too small. Okay, demasiado pequeño, too small. There isn't enough closet space. There isn't enough, right? Enough. And then you have as cheap as, all right? Uh, and then just the vocabulary, dark and dingy. And then you have, uh, that's it, right? This is the grammar. You see, as many bedrooms as, si es contable, lleva many, all right? If it's countable, okay? If it's not countable, you use as much, okay? This doesn't have as much light as the other one, you may say. And then uh, you use uh, an adjective in between, you know, as cheap as. You see a computer and you say, this is as cheap as the uh, other phone that I have, okay? But since uh, we don't really have time uh, for right now, tomorrow, it's in this, okay? You, we're going to start with this uh, conversation and then you're gonna continue with this grammar. I'm gonna explain this, how to use enough how to use uh, as and as with adjectives and adverbs, and, and how to use also many and much in, in, in the statement order, okay? And you're gonna be seeing these examples like football and soccer, okay? And these examples of two dogs, Rambo and Firulais tomorrow. That's where you're gonna be studying, all right? You're gonna be studying the difference between these two dogs and that's the idea, all right? And there's, there's going to be these uh, images and everything that I will be explaining tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much for joining the class and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, hey, bye, see you tomorrow. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow, bye. take care. So just one second.